sunshines! So tonight I'm going to talk to you guys about a song that I don't like very much. Against many popular opinions, this song is All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. When I first heard this song, I definitely thought that it was a cool, hip, body positive message, but after listening to it a couple more times and actually listening to what the words and the lyrics were saying, I wasn't so much all about that bass anymore. My first few times listening to the song, I didn't see the accompanying music video. So for this video, I'm mostly going to address the song and the lyrics on their own. So Megan starts out by singing the lyric that she ain't no size two, but she can shake it like she's supposed to. First of all, absolutely, she's not a size two. However, she is also not fat, overweight, plus size in any way. She is a completely average and normal human being. She's not anorexic, she's not super skinny, she's not fat, she's not overweight. So that right off the bat kind of bothered me. Also, about shaking it, there are tons of skinny girls who can shake it, so I, that argument is completely invalid. As a few of the blog articles that I will link to down below have already stated, the one and only paragraph of this song that is completely the way that it should be and I would change nothing about is this paragraph. The paragraph that says, I see the magazines work in that Photoshop. We know that shit ain't real. Come on and make it stop. If you've got beauty, beauty, just raise it up. Cause every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top. That message is perfect. Stop right there. Take that chunk and just run with that. But of course she didn't. She continued on and it got a little bit worse, unfortunately. The next verse of the song, she calls out that her mom used to tell her not to worry about her size because boys like a little more booty to hold at night. <sighs> okay, cool. So everything comes back to sexuality, right? Everything comes back to being appealing to the heterosexual male. Um, no. She also says in this paragraph that she won't be a stick figure silicone Barbie doll. Barbies do not epitomize being a skinny stupid bimbo. And just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're a bimbo. And just because Barbie is skinny doesn't mean that Barbie is bad. This correlation between being skinny and being a Barbie bimbo has just gotta go. And so this song is completely still buying into that lie and that trash that is making your body sexually appealing to heterosexual men and that's where we find our value in life or where women should find their value in life. No, no, not quite. The bridge is highly offensive. The bridge is where I really got upset because in the bridge she sings that she's bringing booty back and go ahead and tell them skinny bitches that. That's not okay. That's not okay. Just because somebody is not like you, just because somebody is a little bit skinnier than you are or a little bit heavier than you are, that is not a reason to put them down. Being average in your body build is no excuse to go around body shaming people who are skinnier than you or fatter than you. And it's no reason to make a song that is exclusively and all about pretending that you're fat when you're not. It's just not a very nice song. She and her perfectly normal average human, not overweight, not underweight state is calling out people who are skinnier than her as being not okay and calling out people who are her size as being fat, as saying it's okay that you think you're fat because that's what men like. That is totally the opposite of what a body positive message is. A body positive message is what that first verse was. That Photoshop is fake and what you see in the magazines is fake and who you are and what you are is okay and beautiful. And that is the message that needs to be out there in a catchy pop song. You know what I mean? Like that's just, that's not okay and it really bugs me because this song has so much potential at being so great and so uplifting and it just totally dropped the ball. And also, there are women out there who are skinny and they can't help it. There are women out there who are just built in different ways that they have no control over. It's not okay to say that they are not okay. At the root of it, it has to be okay to be you. It can't be about 
putting any group of women down. You guys, we have media coming at us from all angles saying that we need to be skinnier, curvier, have a bigger booty, have bigger boobs, and we need to rally next to each other, beside each other, and not put any of each other down. Honestly, I don't think that Megan Trainer had any sort of malicious intent when she wrote this song. I think, genuinely, she thought that she was going to be writing a song that was totally body positive and it was going to encourage girls all over the place to like totally be okay with where they are. And you know, for the most part, it, it has done that, I think. I think it has encouraged women to be okay with their size, but I mean, really what this video has done is it's given a whole group of women a reason and a way to rally against another whole group of women. And that is not cool. That is not body positive. That is not even a feminism. It's not about calling other people out, calling the skinny bitches out. That's not like a statement that is a good statement to be making. It's not nice. It's not positive in any way. It's just putting yourself up by putting other people down. So I guess those are my two cents on this song. I would love to hear in the comments down below what you guys thought of this song and thank you guys so much for watching. So go out there and love each other and support each other and know that it's okay to be you and just know that you are beautiful just the way you are. I'll see you next time. Bye!